Do you know what tempeh rolls do to blood sugar levels? Let's find out. Now tempeh is basically fermented soybeans. And today I'm having homemade rolls made from tempeh crumbles from Hello Tempeh. I first took the tawa masala tempeh and quickly sauteed it with onion, capsicum and tomatoes to create a filling. I then rolled it in homemade chapatis, including mint chutney. This should be around 400 to 450 calories. Let's see what happens. This tawa masala flavor is pretty good. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. Only 21 mg increase? This is a very good result. This result is similar to when I had chicken tikka rolls, which had increased my blood sugar levels by 20 mg. And even when I had paneer tikka rolls, my blood sugar levels had increased by a similar amount, 23 mg. This does make sense because tempeh has a very low glycemic index, just like paneer and chicken. And that's because it's very high in proteins and fiber and relatively low on carbs. For context, I used 100 grams of tempeh in my rolls and that had about 18 grams of protein. That's equal to about 3 medium eggs. That's quite a bit. Plus, the protein in tempeh is a complete protein, which as you know is quite rare for a plant-based food. And because tempeh is a fermented product, its protein is easily digestible. 